Welcome everyone. Today's video will be a step-by-step -step guide for buying Pyth and staking it for potential future airdrops. So if you're not familiar with Pyth, it is an Oracle project that is similar to Chainlink. So what they do is they bring off-chain data on-chain and they are utilized by a number of different DeFi and NFT protocols. Now here's a map of the Pyth ecosystem from September 2023 and you can see that a number of different projects are using Pyth for their price feeds ranging from derivatives, borrow lending, yield aggregators, NFT marketplaces and various different DEXs out there. Now the thesis here for staking Pyth is that there are a ton of different tokenless protocols out there that are utilizing Pyth for their price feeds. And if they're looking to do an airdrop in the future, they may be airdropping their tokens to Pyth stakers. So if you actually want to go ahead and start staking Pyth, you need to get set up on Solana. And if you don't already have a Phantom wallet, I'll show you how to set that up now. If you already have a Phantom wallet set up, you can skip forward in the video as I have timestamps in the description down below. So the first thing that you need to do to get set up is head over to phantom.app and download the wallet there. Once you've downloaded it, you should be able to create a new wallet. And when you do this, you'll be given a seed phrase. That seed phrase allows anyone to be able to restore that wallet elsewhere. It's basically the key to get into your crypto wallet. So write that down somewhere. If you lose it, you won't be able to get your funds back. So once you've got that up and running, it should look something like this. And the next step is to get some Solana into your wallet. And that Solana is going to pay for your transactions on the Solana blockchain. So you're going to need to go to whatever exchange that you have that offers Solana. For today's video, I'm on Bitstamp. It's quite a reliable exchange. Once you've done that, we need to withdraw this soul into your phantom wallet. So I went to the withdrawal tab on Bitstamp, went to crypto withdrawal, and then we're gonna type in Solana here. Press continue. And so we need to find our phantom address in order to send that soul to. So I'll click on the phantom app, go up here and then click this button here. And that will copy our Solana address there, paste it in here, and then send all of the soul available into that wallet. So once you have your phantom wallet all set up, you can go to somewhere like Jupyter Aggregator and you need to go ahead and buy some Pyth. So you connect your wallet and for the purposes of this video, I think I'll buy uh, roughly uh, 500 Pyth. So that should be about 2.23 soul. Now there aren't any guidelines for how much Pyth you should stake in order to qualify for an airdrop. But here we have a list of the staked Pyth distribution. And it shows you that about 52% of Pyth stakers are staking less than a thousand Pyth. So if you wanna get ahead of everyone else, you should probably aim to stake more than a thousand Pyth. So let's do the swap. Just press swap here and I'll have to confirm a transaction. And if we take a look at my wallet here, we can see that I've swapped out of Seoul and now I have 498 Pyth in my wallet. So on the Pyth website, they talk about the importance of staking Pyth and why you might want to do it. Uh, basically, this is irrelevant for the purposes of this video. It's stuff like determining the size of update fees, determining the raw distribution mechanism for data providers. That's not the kind of thing that you should be worried about. Staking Pyth doesn't actually give you any yield, but what it does give you access to is on-chain governance. And so you can vote on different governance proposals that Pyth has going. So now let's stake some Pyth. So you'll need to go to this website, staking.pyth.network, press select wallet and connect your phantom wallet. And one important thing to note when staking Pyth is that you're only eligible to participate in Pyth network governance once a new epoch starts. And so each epoch starts every Thursday at midnight and they last seven days. So if you're staking Pyth on a Monday, for example, you won't be able to vote on any governance proposals until the Thursday of that week. And you also won't be able to unstake your Pyth until that epoch ends. So let's go about staking here. I'm just gonna press max and then press stake. I have to sign a transaction here. And we can see that a little bit of Solana is leaving my wallet as well. And this will pay for an open token account as well as the Pyth leaving my wallet. So I'll press confirm. And if we take a look at my Phantom wallet, we can see that the Pyth has disappeared. You can see up here, it says 498 staked 
tokens. So once you staked your PIF, you can click on this governance tab and it will show you all the various different governance proposals that PIF currently has going. And so you want to participate in the PIF governance if you want to be in position for a potential future airdrop. And as you can see here, there are currently no PIF proposals that you can vote on, but this is definitely something that you should check out once every two weeks in order to not miss out on any PIF governance votes. So if you're worried about the market dumping and the value of your staked PIF going down by quite a lot and you can't unstake it for another seven days, you can go to somewhere like Hyperliquid and hedge your PIF exposure. So I was long 498 PIF tokens and what I can do is I can short sell 498 PIF tokens and effectively that gives me zero exposure to the PIF token. So once my tokens unstake and I'm able to sell, I can close out my short and therefore I won't lose any money during that seven day period where I'm trying to get out of my PIF position. So you can go to multiple different places to do this. Depending on where you live, you can do this on centralized exchanges like uh, Binance or KuCoin. But if you're from a restricted territory, you can go to somewhere like Hyperliquid or Avo, which I'll have links in the description down below. So I had exposure to 498 Pyth. I can just type in 498 here, press sell short, and I can place my order here. And now I'm perfectly hedged on my Pyth position and if you wanted to close that position you just close market and there we go so thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and make sure to subscribe for more videos like this one